what did you kind of learn throughout your first recruiting cycle as the safeties coach? Uh, it just it, it reconfirmed that relationships are everything. Um, building those relationships with guys and building them over a long period of time is what allows you to have success and sustain success in recruiting. Um, I've seen it with, you know, everybody in this program has really upped their game as far as communication and creating those genuine relationships. And I think that's why you're going to continue to see our recruiting just skyrocket. And then how much has Xavier Watts grown just in the last couple months of him transitioning to safety? Uh, he's grown a lot. He's grown a lot. And it's been fun to watch. Working with a guy like that and seeing his development from receiver to rover to safety and just seeing him find a home and have fun playing football, I mean, that's what it's all about. And the investment that he's put into getting better and watching film and learning the defense has been unbelievable. You know, I see him in the film room all the time spending extra, and it's really showing on the field. And so when you get a chance to see moments where he's getting TFLs and big hits, like it's been, you know, some of the most fun I've had as a coach. And then with Jaden Bellamy, I'm sure you and Mickens are going to fight over him. No I guess doubt. why should he be a safety? <laughs> no, no, yeah, uh, Coach Mick and I talk all the time about, you know, we want the best DBs in the country. We don't want the best corners necessarily. Safety, we want the best DBs. So we're going to take guys, and the best guys are going to play. And you saw that with Ramon this year. Ramon, you know, got an opportunity at nickel and corner, and he was executing and playing well. And a, a spot opened up at safety with an injury, and immediately we said, you know, that's the best guy. Let's go get him on the field, and he steps out there, and he does, you know, what we what we hoped he would do. Do I, do I like lean into one of these or something? No. Just talk? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. How, Coach, how was the uh, how was the breakdown kind of changed among the defensive staff since Coach Freeman has spent so much of his time split between both sides of the ball? Right. Um, it's everybody's picked up some slack. Um, it's, it's a group effort, and, and it always has been. Um, but all of us have just pitched in a little bit more, um, been, been collaborative and worked together. Um, we've always, all season, we've kind of been in the same staff room all day long, day and night, and that hasn't changed. Um, so it's very open communication, and, and we've been able to pick up the slack. And he pops in every now and then, too. Uh, he doesn't let us go too long without seeing his face, so he's still involved. How much of uh, what you guys are doing for this bowl game and potentially beyond is still his basic system and his, his principles. Oh yeah, it's 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 all uh, it's all what we've done. You know, we, we enhance every week regardless. We evolve and enhance. Um, but you know we are who we are. So we're gonna continue to do the things that have that have built a success.